The music on this record is originals of mine, and uh, I write them with Ben, Joe, and Ted in mind. Uh, I guess when you've had a band for 10 years, you really trust the people that you play with, and I just know that they're gonna like take this music and make it their own, and maybe transform it into things that I hadn't planned, and that's, you know, that's what's so great about having a band, is like there's this level of trust. You know that like no matter what happens, uh, it's gonna sound good and something's gonna happen. And I think we had that from the get-go with this band, but it certainly got deeper as time went on. Ben Maunder is one of the great guitarists of today. He's someone who I feel is really advancing the instrument. Uh, he has a unique harmonic palette and sonic palette, and uh, he's also a great comper. He's supportive, yet probing, and it just feels great to play this music with him. Uh, Joe is just a really great bass player, and he just seems to come up with the right thing at the right time, all the time. Uh, he has great sound, great feel, but most of all, he makes it his business to make sure that the band plays together and that the band sounds good. And for that, he's invaluable. Uh, Ted, I think, has a really great ability to shape the music. He gives it an arc, he makes it a story, and uh, everything he does has a real defined point of view, but yet it's never at the expense of the music, it always serves the music. There's also a composition by Paul Motion called Once Around the Park, and this is actually a composition that Ben and I played with Paul when we played with him at the Vanguard for a week uh, in 2011. Uh, and I think that experience actually made us stronger, uh, Ben and I made our rapport stronger, just to play with Paul in this like different context with no bass playing a lot of Paul's music and playing different things. Uh, I think it's also interesting to have like Ben and I, which are sort of like half of this quartet, and having that experience in a different type of music, in a different uh, group, I think made us stronger. For me, the title, The Turn, references a few things. Uh, I think mostly it's about what happens, what can happen, when you let go of preconceptions and you try to let the music flow and you try simply not to get in the way of the music, which is, of course, easier said than done. Also, it's about me, over the process of time, as a musician, uncovering uh, understanding and embracing uh, what my musical values are and that's something that took me a while to figure out and incidentally I turned 40 pretty much when I made this record. 
something I've been thinking about is with so many masters passing away, I think there is a need, and I think other people are thinking that too, but there's a need for my generation of musicians to step up and to figure out what it is that we have to say in this music and to say it with as much conviction and honesty, whatever it is, uh, but as much conviction and honesty than the masters have. And perhaps that's how we can figure out our place in this music. Mm -hmm. 